Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to get some additional options when right-clicking on a PowerShell PS1 file. So normally when you right-click on one, you can run it with PowerShell, and that's pretty much the only option you get. Or, of course, you could do a search for PowerShell, and you have your different options here, run as administrator, and so on. And, of course, if you want to edit it, you could right-click on it and choose Edit in Notepad to open it that way. All right, so what we're going to do is a little registry edit. So we have two files here, a PS1 context menu registry file, and then one to remove it if you change your mind. So let's see what it does here. So we're going to double click the registry file, say yes to the UAC prompt, say yes to adding it to the registry, and then OK. So now when we right click on a PS1 file, of course for Windows 11, you have to go to show more options unless you hold down shift. And now we have editor run with, and we could do PowerShell as administrator, PowerShell 7. If you do PowerShell 7, you have to install PowerShell 7 first if it's not on your computer already. And then you have your edit with PowerShell ISC and as administrator, and then x86 version, and then edit in Notepad, and then edit with Notepad as administrator. So a lot more options there for your PowerShell files. And then if you want to remove it, just simply do the same thing for the remove registry file. And now when we right click on it, we only have the one option here. All right, so I'll put a link in the description where you could download these registry files and you could try it out for yourself. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.